Peace, peace. Lord of the perfect black. Ridesofhealthconsciousness.com <clears throat> Join me for this divine lecture. I'm going to drop these jewels real quick. <clears throat> Race means competition. You have the black race. You have Asians. You have Caucasians. These are the only three races on the planet. Everybody else is a mix. Hispanics is a mix between the three. And then you have, um, you know, Arabs. Everybody else is a mix between the three races, as I said. So right now, we're in a race for resources on the globe between the different races. African people were given an unfair advantage being born on the planet where that has majority of the world's resources. Gold, diamonds, oil, you know, fertile soil. Everything, majority, Africans were given an unfair advantage. Europeans were given a disadvantage being that their land has very few resources, has very few vegetation, scarcity of, scarcity of everything. This is part of what developed European savage behavior. Check the book Iceman Inheritance, which is written by a European. It says, shows you why Europeans go across the globe with their savage behavior because of their um, lack, lack of resources, resources in their region. And Africans having this excess amount of resources made us unappreciative of them. This is why we are have been sitting ducks the past 500 years. We didn't even know what we had. They had to tell us the value of gold and um, you know all of these resources. They had to show us that to the point where you know some African country, African people probably get less than five percent of the amount of. Um, value that comes from these resources. This is why Africa is is dirt poor in the majority of people. And a few people live decent. In America, which is like LeBron James or Michael Jordan scoring the most points on the globe right now. They, they have rigged the game. And this is what they're supposed to do. You know, uh, black people come on the internet Oh, if these people were black, they would have been shot. If these people were black, this would have happened. You're in a race. Meaning you're competing against Asians, against Europeans. And even in this country, Hispanics, you're competing against Hispanics. You're competing against East Indians. You're competing against Arabs. And this is what's happening. We have to not throw the victim card. Because this is what the enemy is supposed to do. They're supposed to manipulate you, lie to you, cheat you to get what you got. This is human civilization at this moment. It's about taking from others. And, um, you know, we're losing the race right now because we don't want to we don't want to get in the gym. We don't want to get in the gym and train. You know, you don't want to shoot around for four hours in the gym. We want to let LeBron James come and play our D-level team and, and expect him to be on the court and let us beat him. Nah, it's not going to work like that. United States, right, racist white people or Germans or whatever, French, they're going to keep scoring these points on you as much as they can. If they can drop 85 points, they're going to come and drop 85 points. They're not going to have no sympathy. And now China... Is coming up as, as um, what to call it, Zion, Zion Williams, or what's another young player? You know, uh, um, a D one draft pick. This is what China is becoming. China is becoming a D one draft pick against Africa. Africa is a a D level, a, a um, a D a D um, a D league player. That's that's what African globally. If you're African American, if you're African in Jamaica, African, your African Americans got so bad that they call themselves Native Americans now. Some of them, so they really went crazy. But um, yeah, Af um, so this is what we're going against. China is coming up, and China is looking to score these points again against Africa. You got China in um Kenya and Nigeria, open up restaurants and businesses, don't even want to serve up. 
uh, African people. They're going to come there and exploit. They're going to take the lithium. They're going to take the minerals. They're going to keep all the best land for themselves. And they write, they, they are making these crazy contracts, giving these European, giving these loans, where if the African nations default, they keep all of the resources. And Africans are going for it. Because race means competition. It's literally a race. Like running a track, a track star, Jesse Owens. That's what we're doing right now. And we have refused to get in this race. We letting we letting them run. We letting LeBron run the race for us, the white, the white man. And he's coming back. He's getting the rings for himself. He's getting his salary, big hundred thousand dollars, hundred million a year. And he's giving you black person who doesn't want to get in the game, who want to sit on the bench. He's gonna give you fifty thousand dollars a year, sixty thousand dollars a year, and you happy because you have refused to accept this reality, and you want to be a victim. You want to cry about racism. What these white people are doing all, oh, but race means competition. That's literally what we're in. A global competition for resources on the planet. And you as an African have been blessed to be born in the region of the world that has majority of the, the stuff in the planet. You've been blessed. But like I said, we didn't understand what we had. They came in with the Bible, took all the resources. And this is where our minds is at. We would take Jesus over a gold mine. You know, you got Af you got Europeans and you got Asians. You know, they got their kids into, into STEMs, science, technology, engineering, and math. And we got our people shooting a basketball to be a high-paid slave. We want to get in the game. Race means competition. Get on your, get on your jersey. Put on your basketball shorts. Get in the gym. Start shooting around because we could beat everybody. Be the greatest. Peace.